possible job. So that that would be particularly true if we were looking at towns in terms of overall budget generation. I would not want to take four towns just because in some sense they're comparable. I would want to take four towns of roughly the same size, <coughs> very roughly, uh, who've kind of gotten the, you know, Municipal Controllers Award three years in a row for the most effective budgeting process. Not just three towns. And you want to look at best practice we, as well as looking at next door practice. I think both have value, but, and particularly for budget comparisons, next door is, is perhaps much more useful, but for if we're going to, if the, if the group doing this is going to expand it to cover how should we be doing a budget, which is a more normative question, giving me two SAT words in a single night, uh, <laughs> then I think we really that want to look at who's doing a, a good job. Who was that person who kept writing to you, Floyd? If you're going to do... the former budget director of Somerville. So, yes, which did win a number of awards, for example. If you're going to do budget comparisons, I think the most critical comparison of the kind of town to look at is the town that has not classified between businesses on the one hand and residential on the other. And I think that's Winchester and Arlington. Correct. If you go to Lexington, they've got all this industrial base on 128, Burlington has it, Waltham has it. And I really don't think comparisons with those cities where they throw a huge amount of burden on industrial uh, really is comparable to Belmont. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess I, I, I agree with you completely about Winchester and Arlington. And I've picked, Win I've always felt Winchester was, whether or not they're the, the model of best practice, and I have no idea really how we're going to figure that out. But I've always felt that Winchester was a very comparable town terms of demographics to Belmont. Um, Arlington, I'm willing to believe you on that one. Lexington, well, they don't, they don't classify. They, they don't right. have an industrial base. Lexington, sure. you know, notwithstanding the fact that they have a, a huge, relative to us, industrial base, you know, it may, that, and that may explain every difference between Belmont and Lexington. I think it's probably worth looking at it. Just That's why that it's worth looking at, yeah. is, is because that is one, you have to look at the people that we constantly compare ourselves to because those are some of the questions you get. Well, why did you pick, you know, this town or some, I mean, Somerville. It, I can't see that Somerville helps us a whole heck of a lot. They're, they're, everything about Somerville is so different from us. They may be wonderful in how they budget. Yeah, human beings live there. But they get truckloads of money from the state. <laughs> you sure about that? You know, yeah. Yeah. it's not it's their taxpayers' I mean, money they're playing with, you know? <laughs> Well, Cambridge is a form of government. I mean, no, they're I not geniuses. They just have a lot of. Suggested Cambridge. They just have a lot of just people that have give them a lot of money. No, Pat right. wanted to do Needham because she thinks it's kind of. Uh, well, everything I know about it. They've got industrial base. They're, they're just like. They've got what's it, that kind of industrial like base, but they have a lot of things that are very similar to us, yeah. too. You know, they're, 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 they Barbara and, and, and Lisa, and, and write something up that we can hand out to everybody that will document what we just talked about. Sure. Um, so we can have you know, okay. something more than just the normal minutes uh, about that. <coughs> and I'm happy to stop at this number of summer projects. I think so. I would, in some sense, volunteer to take on core services. I did that a bunch yeah. before. How would you, what would you do, Jim? How would you propose well, to do I, that? Look, it would seem to me there would be two things. First, what we actually have to do. Mm -hmm. And there are lots words, of things. Constitutionally or statutorily? Statutorily, I mean, pick up. Schools, police, fire. Schools, police, fire, but, but so a lot of the things that? the schools do, but we're not no. required to do. Yes. Uh, but it would be worth, I think, once again, taking a look at what we're required to do. Mm -hmm. And then I'd also be willing to try to look into do do we have something that 
do we have some services that are not common? You know, there's not in many other towns. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's worth doing. I, think I like that's that. A good yeah. I that. Okay. You guys are for that. I mean, it sort of goes to, to Roy's point about which items in the budget are, I don't know, I don't know how you defined it, Roy, but you can have no impact on that's the statutory provision of services. You know, I mean, how much of an impact can you have on that? You have to do it. Well, we might as well know what we have. Well, within a, within a, all right, within a framework, I suppose, but you, but you have to provide a service. Right. Yeah, but it's surprising a number of things we don't have to do. And it'll be helpful to see that list. I'd love to see that list. John's been just recognized. Yeah, sorry. At an earlier meeting, somebody we talked about the somebody did a survey of core services several years ago. Yeah. Is there a can we pass that out? Is that a burdensome thing to do? The no. results of that? No, we we got it. I have. And that was a. a that was a survey. 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 That was a survey. Yeah. A survey. Of, is that related to this, or is, this, or is that not? Well, no. It, it, it is. I mean, it was interesting, at least, to look at the results because the, 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 the questions yeah. were not only what do you think is important, but also what do you think the town does well, as opposed to what do you think the town does badly. I mean, so that you could divide the services up into a quadrant, and in theory, if the town's not doing it well and you don't care about it, presumably you could perhaps get rid of it. So it had yeah, that had been sure. Who was it that was interested in the subcommittee system? Because that's one I think would be really good. And Roby. I think the people that are interested Roby. in that should be doing it. Roby. I'll talk to Roby about that. Uh, that was Roby's idea. And I, I'd like to follow it up with him, but he's not here tonight. Right. And maybe there's a couple of other people who'd be interested in, you know, <coughs> have thoughts about it and would be interested in working with Sure. Let me, let me see what Roby has to say about it. So I think people who have been on the Warren Committee for a long time could sort of be, well, I don't know, well, I think anybody new, could be helpful. I think there. new people would be really yeah. good because <coughs> some of us that have been here a long time just kind of have lived with it and Couldn't imagine are comfortable with it. Exactly. <laughs> right. Put blinders on? Absolutely. What about capital projects? There's nothing here <coughs> on the capital budget or on this long string of capital projects that we talk about frequently and that are always in the news. You mean mega meeting projects as opposed to the capital budget itself? I, I'm actually interested in both. I mean, I think that the capital budget looks to me sadly deficient usually every year, which mm -hmm. means we aren't really doing the maintenance. And the, the other set of projects are now all sort of queuing up in, in some sort of a line without any particularly broad perspective over the whole lot of them. And, and some of these are really space and land use issues more than anything else uh, in terms of where they go. So. Well, I think we really need to have a mega meeting. Either, if not in June, then certainly in September, because there's just too many things that are I mean, everything has now been, re you know, everything's had a feasibility study. All the feasibility studies are done. Right. And we really need to get a game plan. Mm -hmm. And hopefully by September, if not by July 28th, we'll know where the, where the Wellington is. The Wellington has gone to the next step, but they're moving us forward by baby steps. So, you know, it's not even like headline news. I mean, the good news is we don't stay in place, but the bad news is, you know, we were we could have been here a year ago. So, you know, I think the Wellington has to go forward. It has to go forward in the fall. How we manage to get it forward is, is going to be a, a summer project in and of itself. And then, you know, everything else kind of falls in line after that. Where does the science wing of the, the high school stand versus the other things? So I agree with you. Um, I also have a meeting scheduled with the Capital Budget Committee and the Board of Selectmen for the 16th of June to discuss the capital budget process and how that can be improved next year. And the things that we're, we've been calling for years, things like orphans, the technology programs, those things, how the selectmen want to deal with them starting now. Because what happens every year is the department heads have no place to put this stuff, so they shove it in the capital budget. We get the capital budget in January. We look at it, we say, not ours, mm -hmm. but Warren Committee already has the operating budget, and they're already struggling with how to make, <coughs> you know, the available revenues match what they're being asked to do, and therefore, they can't all of a sudden add painting to the Burbank or, you know, repointing of the town hall or whatever the, the important things are that we're saying, uh-uh, not ours. 
and the whole technology thing is out there. So these are things that I asked a month ago, and I was told that the meeting would be June 16th. And we will establish something so that on the 18th, I can let the warrant committee know what. Okay. I mean, the, the capital budget process will timeline <coughs> work with whatever the warrant committee has established, but we will also have maybe some more definitive things. They're going to work on a policy for town-owned vehicles, which I know is one of your huge irritants. Um, that you know, actually would be leaving grass. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they really promised to enforce <laughs> that. Um, but we really want to get that on the table. We want to set some parameters for if somebody requests a vehicle, what they have to give us in order to have that request even considered in the future. Something akin to that capital building template that we had. So if you're going to ask for a vehicle, you better tell us what you've looked at. You know, is it hybrid? How much gas does it use? What's your maintenance rate for the past three years? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's just, you know, I have a list of about 10 items. And so we'll be doing that. Just because you brought this subject up with vehicles, the most important question is do you need the vehicle before you worry about whether it's hybrid or whatever else? A lot of vehicles we don't need. In my I opinion. don't disagree with you. Huh? I, I don't disagree with you at all. So that, that would be the first that's question. A, that's the first question before yeah. you get into <laughs> the, the rest of it. Right. Okay, well then I guess this Pat's going to give us a report on sort of a approach to the capital budget and um, you know, we can, if you're interested, I mean, if someone's interested in, in tackling the, this conceptual project. Well, I think we're going to hear about it uh, at the board on the 16th, so I'll go through there. Okay. All right. All right. I think we have enough on our plates yeah. for the moment to come in with a, like this, yeah. summer's going fast. That's yeah. what I meant. These all look better at the end of May than they do yeah, in they August. Do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right, so we'll we'll come up with a document that'll sort of memorialize this mm -hmm. and have people attached to it for the next meeting. So, our next meeting is the 18th of June, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. When is our next? Do we have a date of the meeting after that? We're going to start back in the fall or not? Is it not yet. Right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we, we, we never have. Before. Before. I got to get back from summer vacation. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> When's your wedding? Uh, September, that's when I got to talk to you. We usually meet Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Go to spring training. Are we ready to, <laughs> to tackle the, the many minutes we have? You didn't want to read dates, Barbara? Yeah, I'd say we start early. All right, that would be good. I guess Four twenty three. Yeah, four twenty three. And then the town meeting was all fourteen, April twenty eighth, and I have two April twenty eighth. So. April twenty eighth, April thirtieth, I have. Yeah. There is an April thirtieth. Somehow didn't manage to. All right, minutes of April twenty third, two thousand and eight. Wow. Will they be accepted and placed on file? Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> You've been rehearsing that. You've been rehearsing that. What a motion. Yes. <laughs> well, there's only going to second. The only question I had on that is on the first, in the first, under Article 10 Amendment, the second paragraph down. Um, it says, um, Mike Whitmer stated there's no state law requiring these details. There is a state law banning the use of flagmen. Is that actually I think that's the 28th. That's the 28th. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 23rd. 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 Oh, God. There is an Article 10 thing yeah. on the 23rd. Yes. yes. <laughs> and that's why you all flipped to it. No, I didn't have a problem on the 23rd. Sorry. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Last page. Um, Right above minutes of meetings, um, two things. The paragraph before that, Member Hyam moved that the Warrant Committee would recommend Article 20 be withdrawn. He actually recommended that we move the question. He didn't remember what he did. Okay. <laughs> move the question. He, no, what he did was move the question. And, and that's what we voted 10 in favor, one opposed. Okay, I have a note here that says, and then the you said it was actually two opposed. 
and I think I did say it was two opposed because there were 12 of us there. And then the next one is not nine to two, but 10 to two. It's the little majority. It, you know, it was, but well, the numbers don't. The numbers don't jot. We need to have it add up. Okay, so Member High moved the, the question. Moved the question. Moved, moved the, the question. question. So what a member high, second, it's his second favorite it's motion. One of, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Most often used to well, count but every once in a while. You're right, there's 12 members two. present. <laughs> so 10 2. Sometimes I think, Jim, you, you'd not. get up at town meeting and move to adjourn if you could get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> get away with it here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Right. 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 I'm sorry. Right. I got it. Is that it for the 23rd? Anything All else? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? They are adopted and will be, what did you say, Bill? Placed on fun. Placed on fun. All right, May 14th. We're practicing. You, you didn't want to do the April, April 28th. One? You didn't want to do the April 28th. Oh, That's sorry. the one I jumped to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll but accepted if, and placed on file. We've got a gentleman. Uh, I had some input already from, from someone, so the, uh, there was a change in the second paragraph, I think that was Pat was referring to, Article 10 Amendment, it said, uh, there is also no state law banning the use of flag men. Thank you. So that right. changed that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. That was my question. Yeah. Okay. Move approval as amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? April 30th. With the exception of place down front. Second. Any changes? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? They will be so adopted and placed on file. May 14th. Move the exception placed on file. Second. Second. Uh, hearing no Amendments. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Um, we're going to hear next week from the town, I guess Kevin Mooney, about reserve fund transfer. Next week or two weeks? I'm sorry, the on the 18th. They're going to final meeting. And then we'll deal with the, uh, the summer projects. And I think anybody else got anything? We probably have snow transfer to do, don't we? That was no transfer. Mm -hmm. yeah. There might have been another one. There's no, nothing, isn't there another, uh, Lauren? Mm -hmm. uh, another was there a fund transfer pending? I thought there was too. Well, Kevin Looney had a couple. No, but in addition to Kevin, there's one. Oh, it was with the health department? No, that one um, we did. There was one regarding, uh, it was mentioned at the last meeting by Jeff Conti. Yeah about putting the uh, generator air conditioning out into a, a well next to the bank rather than on that, that side of the building that would be um, a, a side of the building at the home building. But I think that the board of selectmen or somebody, it was decided to withdraw that. Okay. Oh, okay. That question whether that was legitimate. Yeah. 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 Ready for Mr. Hyams. All time favorite. Mr. Adams, all time favorite motion. <laughs> Move that we adjourn. I also have a procedure question about, which I think we ought to send to ask the screen to report. When he says placed on file, does that include the internet? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>